prawns. That's an octopus. Octopus. These are sardines. Almost. It's a mackerel. A mackerel. Octopus, no thank you. That's the internationally acclaimed chef Rene Redzepi with a preview of what's heading to the new menu at Noma. The one-time world's best restaurant reopens in Copenhagen next month, but CBS's Sunday morning's Mo Rocca didn't have to go to Denmark for the recipes from Redzepi. The chef's wife, Nadine, is now being heralded for her cooking at home. Let's see, this one here. If you're going to forage in someone's garden, you can taste this. This is called ground elder. Make it the garden of a world-class chef. There Ooh. might be a bit of soil in it, but that's okay. Rene Redzepi put Nordic food on the map a few years after opening the Copenhagen restaurant Noma in 2003. The menu made headlines in the food world with ingredients like live ants, locally sourced, of course. And Noma topped the list of world's best restaurants four times. But at the home he shares with his wife Nadine and their three daughters, the chef is rarely in the kitchen. And you cook together at home? I mean, we could, but I I like. <laughs> no, we could, but she we don't I'm really. Messy. Come no, on. but I. You say that all the okay, time. A little bit. <laughs> the couple met at Noma before Rene or his restaurant became famous. We actually met on um, in the elevator, going up to the changing room, and there was an awkward silence. And then Nadine, she said, so how long have you worked here? <laughs> and I thought that was perfect. And your role at the restaurant at first was? Waiting tables. But I like being there so much. So for some reason, I took lots and lots of shifts. So I ended up like being away. Marrying someone. <laughs> <laughs> On their first date, Nadine offered to cook. You know, by some cosmic force, Nadine had cooked the, the very thing that I enjoyed more than anything when I was growing up, which was chicken dinners. And it was our first date, you know? Did you have any idea how much that would resonate with him? No. You would not? Okay. It was, it was meant to be. <laughs> it was. Right? That's it. It was. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> you want to get a chopping board? She's run this kitchen ever since. Just do don't say? break the egg yolk. During our visit, she showed us how to make wild mushroom porridge with eggs. It cracked. <laughs> One of the recipes from her first cookbook, Downtime Deliciousness at Home. If there are any leaves or bugs on them, just uh, brush them off. No, bugs are not on the menu here. Mmm, three Michelin stars in the smell. <laughs> mm. The cookbook also includes her husband's family dinner favorite, Roast chicken. Yeah. And is it tender? Yeah, it's so tender. But I, I think, you know, Nadine, she stuffs it because if it's not stuffed, usually all the heat goes in and it cooks the breast also from, from, from within. And that's when you get dry, dry chicken. chicken. <laughs> Many of Nadine's dishes are inspired by the family's travels. Her mother's chicken with Indian bread, Middle Eastern beef with lentils, and Japanese gyoza. I think you're just kind of acting as a sponge every time you eat something, every time you go somewhere. Variety is essential, with three smaller and demanding mouths to feed. You want to make them happy, but you also want them not to reject it, which is the big, big, big one, every <laughs> night at the dinner table. Will right. your kids actually eat it? Well, right, they're the toughest critics of all, right? <sighs> and the ones that matter most. <laughs> well, you know, Kids are amazing, but they're also, can we say pain in the ass? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. One week right. they want white foods only, like pastas and bread, you know. Next week they, they, they love raw things suddenly, right? Suddenly they yeah. eat raw broccoli and... Yeah. <sighs> so this is an array of things that we have to experiment with when we open. With Noma set to reopen in a new location. This is a wild Danish lobster. The restaurant's test kitchen moved into a building in the family's backyard. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Is that um, sea is, cucumber? Is, oh, I thought it was a walrus. <laughs> <laughs> a proximity that's proven beneficial for both Rene and Nadine Redzepi. I can just come out here. I'm going to treat it as my like little dry storage. What would your cooking be like if you'd never met Nadine? Oh. 
if I wouldn't have met Nadine, I don't think it would have at all been what it is. No way. Look at these. <laughs> yeah, the potatoes. Oh, man. For There's... CBS This Morning, I'm Mo Rocca at the Red Zeppi residence in Copenhagen. Oh, don't you love the two of them together? They're so cute. It's such a great love story and so much in common. Yeah, I like that. And I love that even top chefs have picky kids, right? Yeah. Right? It's hard to convince your kids to eat the food. Yes. Makes you feel better. What parent Good. thinks their kids are a pain in the butt? Anybody? <laughs> Wait. Crickets. <laughs> you, you mean, <laughs> crickets. Well, we love a parent doesn't. Yeah, I know. Uh, good food comes from love, Gail. That's and right. we invite